the Sunset 24-Hour Endurance Challenge in Benton, Arkansas. Let's talk about how it went. Hello, fellow geeks, and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather, and I am glad you are here today. This past weekend, I participated in the Sunset Endurance Challenge, which takes place in Benton, Arkansas, and it's put on by the Saline County Striders. This race is free to participate in. All they ask for in exchange is donations towards the actual cost of the aid station for the race. You can sign up to run for 24 hours, for 12 hours, or for six hours. The course is a 1.015 paved trail around Sunset Lake. Lake. All you do is run as many loops as you want to within your actual time period and whenever you decide you're done then you turn in your timing chip and just call it. 24 hour racers started Friday night at 7 30 p.m and ran until 7 30 p.m on Saturday and the 6 and 12 hour racers joined at 7 30 a.m on Saturday. I signed up for this race with the idea to challenge myself. The farthest I have ever gone before is a 50k and so I thought to myself if I could at least hit 50k and then maybe push a few miles further then I will consider this good. My absolute pie in the sky goal was 50 miles, although I didn't really know if I could get that much done. So I've been training, I've been working hard, I've been in contact with my coach through Run, and I did everything I could in order to get myself ready, especially mentally, to push through some of the rough points. So let's take a look at how things went the day of. <laughs> As you can see in the bin, I have extra clothes, I have medical supplies, I have uh, my electrical stuff, which is going to be my charging cables, my power banks, stuff like that. I have extra shoes, socks, underwear, everything that I could possibly need. I also have uh, hand warmers and blankets and towels, stuff that I would need to dry off and stay cool. And in this box, this is everything that I'm using to cool myself in addition to what's going to be available at the aid station. If you missed where I talked about what I was going to be bringing with me, I'll have a link up above so that you can watch that video for yourself. can't really see me because of my headlamp but honestly there's nothing to see out here right now it is super dark I am six laps into the run and uh, I'll update you again when it's sunlight and you can actually see something I have ditched my headlamp because we have an almost full moon and it is lighting the whole path for us Ah, woo. Let's go. Yo. I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Okay, just sitting down for a minute We are about 11 and a half hours in I am tired I am sore. I have a blister on the inside of my right heel. It is cold. <coughs> With the wind chill, it has dropped below freezing. So I am doing everything I can to distract myself. And uh, thankfully, the um, six hour and 12 hour people are going to be joining us in the next 30 minutes. So that might make things a little interesting. <laughs> A lot of people took some time off in the middle of the night to go get a nap. I kept on moving, so here's hoping that pays off for me. I am really, really tired right now. And the 6 and 12 hour runners have joined the course. So I am currently 
currently sitting at 40 miles, which means that every step that I take is the longest I have gone. So there's that. With my head and my heart, I'm being chewed up, spit out, torn apart from picking up all the pieces is a form of art. So Heather, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I'm just gonna walk in a circle for 24 hours. Wow, that sounds really hard. It sounds like it'll hurt. Yeah, it's actually gonna hurt a lot. It's not gonna be fun. So then why are you doing it? I have no idea. Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so taking a break. Uh, the sun's out, so I took a couple of layers off. I'm gonna switch things up. Instead of taking a break every three miles, I'm gonna take a break every two miles. And uh, that's probably gonna stand until the end of the race. So let's see how this turns out. trying to stay positive, but it's really hard. Okay, so decision made. I turned in my chip and said that I am finished. It hasn't been the full 24 hours yet, but I came here to do 50 miles and I did 51. So I am at peace with that. And honestly, um, I maybe could have done more, I, but I really don't think I could have. Um, I'm just, I'm falling apart and uh, I don't want to be greedy, but uh, yeah, so I'm having some ramen noodles with bone broth, um, ended up coming in a fourth place female. So there is that. So yeah, um, I did what I set out to do and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to uh, wait for my ride to get here so I can go home and shower and get some well-deserved sleep. And uh, I will uh, take it back inside while I am on the road to recovery. And so here we are. It's a couple of days later. And uh, as you can see, I am recovering for the most part. Uh, my body is recovering. I'm definitely not as stiff walking around as I was the day after the race. But one thing that I didn't mention in the video is that for the two days previous to the race, I had been taking care of my daughter who had a massive head cold. I thought I was fine and then started getting sick towards the end of the race. And in fact, by the time I had finished running, I was running a fever. So uh, you can definitely hear it in my voice that I'm not 100% today. Um, I'm still kind of recovering from that. So my body is definitely feeling better, but the rest of me, not so much. So I'm definitely taking some extra recovery time to make sure that I am back where I need to be before I start getting back into the habit of uh, walking and easy runs and things like that. Now, although I didn't do all 24 hours of the race before my body just kind of gave out on me, I did do 18 and a half hours of the race and finished with a distance of 51.76 miles. So I set a really long goal of 50 miles and actually went a little bit past that so uh, once I hit 50 miles I had pretty much decided that I just couldn't do anymore I kind of sort of in my heart wanted to push my way to 60 if I could but I just knew it wasn't in the cards that day uh, I just was not feeling it um, I was definitely coming down with that cold and that was definitely holding me back it was freezing I was tired and uh, I had just been through so much in the past night, especially with uh, the temperatures getting down below freezing. That was one thing that really kind of threw me for a little bit in that I would stop to take a break because my body desperately needed it, but then my core temperature would drop so much that I would sit there and just shake and shiver until I started moving again. So it was that weird balancing act of trying to stay warm and trying to rest my body at the same time. 
making sure that I was staying fueled. I felt like I just could not get enough food and water in me. And at one point in dealing with trying to balance water and electrolytes and fuel and dealing with the cold and dealing with trying not to get sick and my my temperature rising and everything my fingers actually got so swollen that my my hands looked like hot dogs i mean i've never seen my hands that swollen before so that was definitely not fun and i thought i would be disappointed in myself for not going the full 24 hours but i was really happy with the distance that i had covered and i felt like i had pushed myself to my physical limit at that time. Does this mean that I won't be able to go farther than that later? Who knows? I may be able to hit 60 miles uh, if I tried to attempt this again, which at this point, I don't know what I'm going to attempt again because I'm still in uh, the midst of recovery. So it's hard to know what I, I wanna set goals for or anything. But I think if I were to try this again, that maybe I would try to go for 60 miles, who knows? But 51, almost 52 miles is way more than I thought that I could do, especially a few months ago. If you had asked me a year ago if I'd be able to do this, I would tell you you were crazy. So I pretty much went through every single emotion that you could have over the, the course of the evening and, and the next day. It was a very, very educational experience for me as far as my mind and my body go. If you are looking to do an endurance race of this type, I would definitely recommend this one. The people there running the race were so nice. Everybody that was participating in the race was amazing. I met some really great people. There was an older couple that I met that have retired and now travel the country in their RV looking for races to run. I met lots of people with families. I met uh, people that uh, are children's hospital nurses and I, just all sorts of people were running this race and just having different goals and different adventures and uh, finding people that are just able to do so many different things. And so this was a great experience. So if you're in the Arkansas area and you're looking for a great endurance run, I would definitely recommend this. The terrain is very simple, but the challenge is definitely there. And from what I understand, this is one of the first times in the past few years, it has not rained overnight. So we got really, really lucky there. Plus, we had a record number of women participating in the 24-hour race, which I am so happy to see because I really, truly believe that more women should be taking on challenges like this. And of course, everybody there was so supportive of each other, looking to help each other out, lending things to each other, celebrating each other's victories. It was just an overwhelmingly positive experience. So although I looked like I was absolutely miserable in a lot of that video, and believe me, I was. I was sore and tired and coming down with this cold and starting to run a fever. So, you know, physically I was not the best, but emotionally I was having a, an absolutely amazing experience there. So there you go. That is the Sunset Endurance Challenge 6, 12, and 24 held in Benton, Arkansas. What questions do you have for me about the race? I'd love to answer them down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you a thing. Just click that button down below and it keeps you up to date on all the running adventures I'm having all the time. You could also follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description. You can find me across all platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thanks so much for being here. I'm so glad you could join me. Remember to laugh hard run fast and be kind. I'll see you later.